Symmetry Surgical's Flash Pack is a hospital-proven mobile sterile field that meets applicable standards for immediate use sterilization. In order to keep your Flash Pack functioning properly, please follow the instructions in this video. If maintained properly, your Flash Pack will provide a consistent alternative to traditional sterilization methods. The Flash Pack is a reusable, rigid container system designed for immediate use sterilization in pre vacuum steam and gravity displacement autoclaves. Its closed system design prevents recontamination of sterilized devices during transportation to the location where they will be used. Warning Please read the package insert before using the Flash Pack. It is important to read and understand the package insert. Please keep this in a safe place so that you can easily refer to it later. Precautions. Before using Flash Pack for the first time, clean it with the neutral pH cleaning solution approved by your facility. Immediate use sterilization does not include dry times, so condensation might collect inside the container. If you see water in the container after the sterilization cycle, do not be alarmed. This is normal. Unless otherwise recommended by the device manufacturer's instructions, do not use Flash Pack for sterilization of batteries, motorized, electric, or electronic devices. Cleaning. When your Flash Pack is ready for cleaning, manually wash all surfaces using a neutral 6.0 to 8.0 pH detergent solution and soft sponges or cloth wipes. The Flash Pack may be fully immersed for easy cleaning. Rinse thoroughly with warm water and dry using lint-free absorbent towels or clean pressurized air. The flash pack may also be cleaned in automated washing equipment using a low foaming neutral 6.0 to 8.0 pH detergent solution. Be sure to follow your washer manufacturer's instructions and ensure the container is dry before using or storing it. Daily inspection. Visually inspect the entire container, looking for chips or cracks. Check the silicone lid gasket, valve seals in the lid, base, and the vent to ensure there are no cuts, tears, or other damage. Verify that the valve plate fully engages the silicone valve and seals around the circumference of both the lid and base valve assemblies. Do not use a flash pack that is chipped, cracked, or that has damage to the lid gaskets or valve seals, or is otherwise visibly damaged. Please contact customer service or your local sales representative if you have questions or think you may need a replacement. Sterilization process. To begin the sterilization process, clean, disassemble, and decontaminate items that you intend to sterilize in the flash pack. Be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions for each item. Load devices into the basket. Refer to the table in the package insert for maximum weight guidelines for your specific flash pack model. Model 9050 was validated using a total combined weight of 35 pounds for container and contents. If sterilizing items with lumens, refer to the table in the package insert for maximum quantities per load, minimum diameter, and maximum length guidelines. Instruments may be placed inside the flash pack without using the basket, but be sure that the instruments do not contact or interfere with the valves or seals. Place a facility-approved multi-parameter chemical integrator in the center of the instrument load for process monitoring. Additional chemical integrators may be added as required by hospital procedures and recommended practices. Routine biological testing should be performed according to hospital procedures and AMI standard ST79. Place the lid on top of the base and secure the four latches. Ensure that the lid fits snugly on all four corners before latching. Place the flash pack in your sterilizer chamber, ensuring that its feet sit level and flat on the shelf or rack. Do not stack your flash pack on top of or under any other container. Select the appropriate sterilization parameters for porous or non-porous loads and for gravity or pre-vacuum sterilizers from the tables in the flash pack package insert and start the sterilizer. After sterilization. After the sterilization cycle ends, open the sterilizer door and remove the flash pack. 
The flash pack will be hot. Use flash pack gloves, part number 9000-14, or towels to prevent burns. Do not handle or carry flash pack by the lid. Never touch the valves or the pressure relief button, as this might contaminate the pack by allowing non-sterile air inside. Transfer the flash pack to the delivery cart, part number 9111, or other suitable cart for transport to the point of use. Please be careful when transporting the flash pack, as water may have accumulated inside. Flash pack may be placed on non-sterile surfaces. Place flash pack on a table near the point of use and visually verify that the valve plate in the lid fully seals the entire circumference of the silicone vent gasket. If the valve appears to be open or is not fully engaged with the silicone seal, assume the instruments are contaminated and reprocess accordingly. Unlatch the lid on all sides. Press the pressure relief button and remove the lid. Verify that the multi-parameter chemical integrator, CI, indicates acceptable exposure. Do not use the instruments if the integrator does not verify acceptable exposure. Aseptically remove the basket and contents according to the established best practices of your healthcare facility. Visually verify that the base valve plate fully engages the silicone valve gasket around its entire circumference before the basket or its contents are placed on the sterile field. Once again, if the valve appears to be open or is not fully engaged with the silicone seal, assume the instruments are contaminated and reprocess the flash pack. If water has accumulated in the flash pack after immediate use sterilization cycles, simply remove the water and dry the container before using it again. To keep your flash pack functioning properly, Symmetry Surgical recommends replacing certain disposable parts on a regular basis. Replace both valves at least once per year. Remember that both valves should be replaced at the same time. Depending upon usage, more frequent valve replacement may be needed. Valves should be replaced after 500 pre-vacuum or 1500 gravity displacement cycles. Replace the pressure balance element at least once per year or when it becomes rusty or discolored in appearance. 